Hey buddies, welcome to Video Games Awesome Live. This is the kickoff of a new Minecraft monthly server build. Yeah. Yeah. For real. For real this time. <laughs> um, this month's theme is going to be forest build. Yeah. Like a tree build kind of thing, but man-made. Like, so these trees won't do. Fuck these trees. These trees suck. Yeah, those are stupid small trees. I hate them. They're not big enough. I'm thinking, um, could you guys make me a god? I want, um, I just want to be able to fly. I found this seed, <laughs> says Nanny. Well, that doesn't mean that we're not going to need a lot of lumber, though. Yeah. Here we go. So, Ewok village, maybe. This is the server. It oh, is a wow. good biome, and yeah. it's got a lot of lumber. And I mean, I'm not against like there being some natural trees, but my idea is what I'd like to see is a forest with an endless canopy and a large one. And I'm talking like the canopy should be about up here so that when you look up, a person's about that size if they were at the canopy. Yeah, okay. something like this. This is just, I'm ballparking it. But the point is, I want to feel like I'm in a grand forest, like a cathedral would, you know? Um, looking up, and there's just trees and branches and stuff. Cool. And then everybody can do what they want with their own trees, and obviously, I'm sure people come up with... I want to really... make suspension bridges. Yeah, I'm sure people will have, like, a bridge system. I don't want to give too many ideas, because it'll just Tree sound forts. like I came up with everything. Yeah, there's a million things you can come up with. Yeah. But think Endor, think, like, uh, Fern Gully. Think, yeah. like, the feeling of being in a very large forest. I say of Fern Gully Endor. because those people were so small. Right. And the trees were so big. So, like, you know, think the redwoods of, uh, of... California or, or Cathedral Grove of Cathedral Vancouver, Grove. BC. Yeah. Um, that type of thing. Zip lines. You could do so so many different things, but it's Are we allowed to build things on the ground, like cottages and stuff? Um, where do my music go? Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's there can be. It's still a town. Okay. It's people. It's as though you're living among you know trees. I like to think of it as this is just how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna reject the ground and celebrate the canopy ceiling. Cool. That's there you what go. I'm thinking. So it's uh, uh yeah, there's gonna be people who take this on as like Ewoks. Some people are probably gonna be dryads. I can Some make people an Ewok will be belt. Like, yeah, I'm sure. And I'll just leave it up to you guys. I still like the town type structure. I wouldn't mind if there's paths or even roadways among the trees. It's just uh -huh. I, in fact I like roadways because it keeps everything organized, but um, you know, the main thing is don't put the trees too close together. Kakiri Village would be awesome for this. There True. you go. All kinds of different crazy crap you can yeah. do. Yeah. So how big is this world in comparison to, um, like the Christmas oh, we did? Oh, I don't know. I could go flying and Booby find out. Or the they could just tell me. Same size Same as size. Christmas. Awesome. I thought that so size was perfect. So everybody's gonna stay really gods. close Thank together, you. work together. Yeah. Obviously, there will still be mining involved. It's some people's first build, Cookie Babe's first build. Totally. Br bring them all in, guys. Bring them. Let people start jumping in if they want, and we'll start watching as people begin their builds. Hello, bunny. Um. Hi, bunny. I'm a fucking bunny. Uh, I like the sense of community in the smaller builds. Yeah. That's yeah, what totally, my idea like, was. Jump in if you're new to Minecraft. If you're new. You can just build trees. Build trees everywhere. Yeah. Unless you want to like actually well, contribute to a don't build. Build trees are. <laughs> well, no. Follow some I guess. direction. I'm not sure who takes charges in charge in these builds. Who kept the last one so organized, or if it was just a community effort to keep things organized. But clearly, there are going to be. If you're new, you know, take some direction. Go in and ask people where or what they might want. Or the best thing is to do is. If it's your first build, if I were building for the first time, like I have never participated in a build. This is 1.8, correct? Yeah. Okay. I would jump in and I would say, who needs help? Like, yeah. Because I just like mining. I don't even care about anything else. I we'll love have, mining. We'll have threads with guidelines slash, slash suggestions in the forums. There you go. So you can jump into the Minecraft forum and there's yeah. guidance there. But as usual, I've tried to make these builds a little bit more casual. Man, I love that right there. Yeah. Um, a little bit more casual, not only for you guys, but also for us touring 
you don't expect every nook and cranny to get explored when we go see the village. We'll look at everything. We might look at the outside of your house. We might go inside. We might not. Mods will direct us towards things they think are particularly interesting if we seem to be about to miss something really awesome. But. And I have been, like in the Christmas build, I liked jumping in and exploring for myself to see if there's anything yeah. that maybe we would have missed. Like, there's one house when you walk in, it played a Christmas song, and so I... Yeah, That's Becky, something we would have missed just flying around. Becky will be a bit of my tour guide, I suppose. I'll be going yeah. in semi-blind, whereas Becky will actually kind of have seen stuff because she'll be hanging out throughout this build. Yeah. The address is up now in um, the Minecraft forum, so you guys can jump in, right? That's what's going on? Let's make it morning again. This build will mostly be um, uh, viewed through the day time, I think. Most of the time, I'd keep day in mind when you're building your build, uh, how it yeah. looks during the day. That's um, a good idea. I could see nighttime being nice too, but I mean, it's going to be kind of shaded, right? Because... Thanks for the music, guys. Mods. I'm not sure how, like, trees work and leaves work. It might be tough making a really nice canopy. I don't know how that's going to go. Uh-huh. But I would like you to blot out the sun, kind of. But on the other hand, I still do think like that there this. should be parts of the canopy that have the sun shining through. Like, a, mm -hmm. a canopy feels like a canopy because of those odd streams of light that come through. Yeah. So you should still keep that in mind. It shouldn't completely blot out the sun. Um, Evil Pun was the last build your first one, because Evil Pun went around and just distributed pies to everyone. Like all He was the baker for the build, so nobody she, went hungry. Oh, all she, throughout like everywhere. So like she go to like the edge and find people that were there building on their own and give them pies, yeah. which was awesome. Because everybody needs to eat. The build isn't just what is built. The build's also about like a contribution can be just remember we play this on survival people will die yeah things like eating will be a frustration for builders so like you know make it so that they want for nothing yeah just go around there people are starting to come in you could even Fiona, be an armor Star maker Spark. if you wanted you could go around making ar sets I of armor for everybody to wear tools yeah, totally that's actually awesome if you're new too yeah just everybody needs shovels and shit so just be a miner, you could be a blacksmith, you could do whatever the fuck you want. Like, but it, I'm sure we have some architects here who have grand plans for, well, I guess in this case, there will be horticulturists or yes. arborists. Yeah. Uh, I feel that I am not super strong at building and <laughs> designing. Yeah. So some people, a lot of people don't. Yeah. So that, I right? also, I like to go out and, I don't know. I, I would do a lot of mining and then put things in the, there's community chests and I'd put things in the community chest I'd find out what they were making the roads with and I'd go mine for whatever they're making the roads with because you need a shit lot of whatever they make the roads with. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the thread is up in the Minecraft awesome forum now. So go look for the, the address. All and go into the white right list. Now. And you can just start building if you want. I mean, I don't know, like... <laughs> Hi, Aceville. I guess the first step is surviving the night. So um, it's morning now, but I won't. I probably won't ask the mods to change the day again. So let's get ready for night. Me too, Mr. That Guy. I can only copy things. <laughs> One thing that I'd like to see a lot less of, though, in general, is I hate seeing torches on ground. Oh, me That's too. That's one of my biggest, <laughs> me I too. hate seeing torches on the ground. Yeah, especially when we were doing the snow stuff because then it's so ugly. there'd be a torch yeah. and then all this grass, grass around, around it. it. Yeah. I, I tore some of those them. down and put them up on something. Yeah, if I... We could you, do more lamps. If you wanted to be like a big friend of mine, go around <laughs> and like... I'd be very impressed by somebody who takes it upon themselves to be the, the electrician. <laughs> Yeah. Run around and like light the place up in a pretty way without using torches. Fucking hate torches. I think the torches can be nice whenever they're like up on something proper. When they make sense that they're attached yeah. to what they're attached to. Yeah. yeah. Like that one build that had um, like the Great Wall of China mm -hmm. kind of thing. And we saw it because it was all lit up. Those mm -hmm. were all torches, but 
I thought it looked really pretty. I would like, one thing I don't like about the uh, Minecraft and its lighting is, I mean, so that sun is awesome and it's directional lighting and it casts shadows like this, mm -hmm. but even with a shader, if somebody puts up a torch, it doesn't cast a shadow. It just creates a general light glow. Ah, uh, yes. So it makes things look cool from a distance, but when you get up close, like you expect a bit more shadow to be going on. Yeah. And what I would love it, tell me if this is true, but I would love a shader that allows you to make directional lights, like spotlights, like actually craft them. Like, I guess that would be a mod. Ha <laughs> ha. Like, what? No cacti to make green couches. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> um, I would love a shader that actually creates, like, you know, new points of light that actually create light rays and stuff like that. Yeah. A shader could make it so that light sources, like, torches did that but none of the shaders do there is one cacti actually there's one cactus one it's hidden it's hidden yeah i so it says you must find it <laughs> this is a nice biome yeah so don't feel uh, too bad about cutting down trees more can be grown first of all yep totally man remember the days like i remember the days i'm an old man so i remember when minecraft didn't have growing trees so mm. once you cut down a tree, it was gone forever. And I remember like with some of our early builds is people were like, you know, don't cut down these fucking trees. This place yeah, is totally. ugly without trees. Yeah. Times have changed, man. Remember when Minecraft wasn't even released? It was still in beta <laughs> forever. So there's the edge of the biome over there. Okay. There's jungle trees over this way, says Metroid Slayer. Cool. Lots of jungle here. Holy cow. Pretty seed, Melly. I could also see multiple oh, lots of red portions of forest. Yeah, that's nice. It looks nice. like Melly found different species or uh, multiple, mm. multiple mushrooms, forest guys. biomes. There's mushrooms. There's big mushrooms. Oh, yeah, mushroom forest. Fuck yeah. Giant mushroom forest could be cool, too. You guys, did you know that the last build was my, f my first time participating in a community build? Oh, that's fun. Not separated on my own. I thought it was awesome walking around and running into people. Mm -hmm. And then bowing to them and jumping up and down. Kitties! 5-2 found kitties! Oh yeah? <laughs> nice. Um, another thing to keep in mind uh, is that this build, what day is it today? Uh, January 4th. Okay, so we, this, this build could go anywhere from three t weeks to five weeks. So just keep okay. that in mind that as we approach the three week mark you're looking at like you know gravy so just be ready that at any like day's notice you could have a show and yeah. so you might not be done i try to kind of give people the heads up when we're thinking about doing a show but that's yeah that's a good idea so it'll be at least two weeks but it could be a little bit more i was be... gonna suggest at least two weeks yeah so yeah three to five I mean, look how much they got accomplished in just a couple weeks for Christmas. So I worry yeah, about dude. how much we'll have to look at if I leave them any longer than that. Yeah, me too. Minor miners in. Uh, so what are the rules? They should be in the thread. Yeah, I'll leave. I'll leave our community to come up with the nothing rules. ugly. Yeah, try not, try not to be like not ugly. cobble hoses. Like, I mean, we want you guys to have freedom, but at the same time, don't. Don't build ugly stuff. Like, we're trying everybody to become a better builder, right? So, although beginners are welcome, try to be a good beginner. You know, think about what you build. Don't just go, yeah. <coughs> look at this piece of shit I built. Like, yeah. try. <laughs> yeah. Just try. And if be willing to knock down what you made and make something, make it better. Yeah. You know. um, people also don't have holidays this month. That's a good point, Ulani. And Pax South is at the end of this month. Look what I found. <gasps> nice biome, Melly. Yeah, Melly. Good one. I became fucking obsessed with trading with villagers. <laughs> yeah, like, you... it was a problem yeah. for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, so do we make claim areas in here? I don't know. Ask them. Um, I am. Okay. There's sheep, there's cows. Oh, there's the edge. Uh, we have the server running, so we might have to repopulate the villages. Okay. 
that's fine. I'm excited. I'm so excited. There's been a few times since the Christmas build that I'm like, I could really go for some Minecraft right now. I think that the monthly servers make it exciting. It does. It to totally jump in. does. It's a fresh start every time. Yeah. I can't be the only one who feels that way about Minecraft. That the best part is the new start. I'd suggest keeping claims small for the challenge if you want to help with villages. So I guess the main thing that the mods or I guess our builders, our veteran builders probably need to come up with is what they feel a good distance apart is for trees in this build. Since the trees, we don't know what size they'll be, but I'm guessing like trunks that are at least 10 by 10. Okay. Um, it's a good guideline. Because I'm assuming people are going to make trees that they build ha homes in the yeah. tree. So they got to be pretty substantial size. Mm -hmm. And because they're going to be so big, you're going to want some space apart from them. Otherwise, I'll just look like I'm walking through a giant castle of wood. Like, it's not going to look like a forest. It'll just feel like I'm surrounded by giant wood blocks. Sweet. Ott says they have suggested tree sizes in the forums. Oh, okay. I feel like I probably should have looked at the forum before Yeah, uh, they have it all figured so that... out. As usual, I don't have to do a lot of work. Our community runs itself. Uh-oh. Oh, that was my computer hiccuping there. Can somebody teleport me back to spawn? I don't know where I am. God's lost. We've already posted about that in the Minecraft forum with the size of trees and tree heights. Good okay. stuff. Sweet. So yeah, I don't know who's taking charge on that, but like, yeah, as usual, our veteran builders, probably Melly and ISO and these types know what they're doing, um, have come up with suggestions, just loose guidelines, I guess. Cool. Maybe tight, maybe it depends on what they think. Um, because, you know, it's a collaborative build when it comes down to it, and a little bit of like-mindedness is going to help. Yeah. How long till these things disappear? They always bug oh me. Oh my god, guys, if you cut down trees, I would love you forever if you cut all the way to the top of the wood. Oh, don't leave wood floating in the fucking air. God, that bugs me. <laughs> me too. Although it's hard for me to know specifically who to love forever because you cut down your tree, so I wouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> She'll just know who to hate forever. Yeah. I don't like this about this shader. They make the moon square like it should be, but the, for some reason they decided to make the sun round. I don't get it. Just leave everything square. Oh, guys. All right. It's nighttime. Where are you guys at? Are you gonna die? Drifting Nitro has just joined. Okay, you do have some some candle. They have one candle over here. One lantern. <laughs> People are afraid to place lanterns now because I bitched. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a stone sword. You can put them on the ground now. We're, like, just starting out, right? How many people are playing with shaders now that they've seen mine? I'm not. The ones I was running. Well, yours, your computer can't... Well, actually, you're... I don't even want it. You have... Have really? you even considered it? No. Nope. Really? I like vanilla. Hmm. I'm a purist. But, I mean, it still nope. looks like vanilla. Mm. It's just prettier. <laughs> it's just... Like, it's the... I love vanilla, too. I don't... I never want, uh, like, a... a, a, a um, a skin set or whatever, a resource pack that makes it not look vanilla. Dulani wants to know if I could take a bit of that, if she could take a bit of the IT budget to buy a mod called Gravitry. Natural trees adhere to gravity as you cut them. Hell yeah. Go okay. for it. Bill me. Wait, so you can buy mods now, finally? Like, officially through Mojang? I can hardly run it without shaders? Huh, interesting. I'll be running shaders on my new PC when it gets assembled. I'm using shaders. They're amazing. Wow. Oops. Am I like the only one that doesn't use shaders? Which which shader did I recommend everybody who doesn't have amazing graphics card? There was uh, I recommended it not, on the last episode. Not Mojang, no. Mods are sold for Spigot, though. Oh, okay. There was one particular one of these okay, that I cool. recommended... That I'm looks nice without being super... Oh, yeah. You'll have to watch Christmas to know. But there is one of these that actually... 
You specifically mentioned... It might be TME's... That's ultra... the one that I looked at, actually. Okay, then it might be this one. That's this like... Fire. It's not quite as good, but it... Um, it looks quite good. Like, as you can see, ah, my yeah. frame rate's increased. Like, that last one even makes me go down to 30 frames per second with a, with a 980 Ti. But this one... It also has a... It's interesting, every shader has like better things. Night Nulani, like, thank you for your work thanks, on Nulani. setting this shader up and stuff. This one has slightly better lighting, I think, does when it, it comes to torches. Does it affect the depth of field? Is that Yeah, each one does? has its own like aggre some have really aggressive depth of field. Yeah. Like this one. Yeah. Um other ones have more subtle. This one's pretty good though. Yeah. Um what are you wearing right now? How do you check that on the controller? Oh, fuck, I keep pressing start instead of Y. Or back, I think. Um, what's that? I wonder what you're wearing right oh, now. Oh, I think Santa outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I have to change later. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, shaders. I'm gonna go back to the one I use, which is uh, Continuum Ultra 1.15 Depth of Field. Yeah, the other one, TME, has really warm lighting, really, um... Kinda, yeah, I kinda like the TME's lighting for torches. I think yeah. this one's a bit more realistic, but the other one is very warm and glowy. Yeah. I just changed it to my Christmas outfit right before I logged in. Go back to the other one for a bit. Um, will the lo mods like people know whenever they're whitelisted? That's a good question. Will they let people know when they're whitelisted? Yeah. yeah. I don't know how that works. You'll have to ask them. I am. If they were whitelisted before, they should be now. One's got a nasty Otherwise, sky they'll glitch. be whitelisted shortly. Okay. Oh, Crya changed her name to Lady Crya. Oh, really? You sound so sophisticated. I'm really excited to see what people do now. Mm -hmm. Just make sure to post in the thread if you guys haven't been whitelisted yet, and the mods will make their way down. We don't whitelist during shows; it just makes things messy. Okay. That's good to know. Thank you. Understandable. No matter. There's not going to be much going on in this show. This is just an introduction and a little discussion about where everybody will be going with this. It also gives you a view of the place before and after. That's what I think is my favorite part. I love seeing the before and after. Mm -hmm. There's Yo, a lot has, of water here. I wasn't anyone, expecting so much water. Sorry. Has anyone died yet? I was like commenting on... Uh, Who died first? Yeah. And then I make fun of them. <laughs> like that. What's Ace Phil doing? Supervising. <laughs> I love creeping people out. <laughs> yeah! Lime Green was slain by a zombie, but that's because I didn't care much. Somebody over here is working on there. <laughs> it always frightens people when I suddenly appear out of nowhere. <laughs> I think we'll do a survival one some month, yeah. Survival what? Where like it's one death and then it's over. Oh, yeah, that'd be interesting to see who exists in the end and then look at what people accomplished before they died. Like, it'll just be people's... People will have to make sure they, shit. like, leave behind a sign that says, If I die, this was my place. Yeah. This is what I, I left so behind. I'm so stuck in creative, so he keeps dropping jukeboxes. How long would we make that one? Like, a week? Maybe. Make it a week. You wouldn't want it to be a month. I didn't cause... die in the Christmas oh, really? one. No. Yeah, there a lot of people would just end up playing really conservatively. You'd need a hall of yeah. heroes for those who did the more dangerous things, like went and gathered diamonds for people. And went to the nether. 
A lot of people will probably want to actually show off and create things out of like entire houses out of glowstone. Yeah. Just to prove that they went to the nether. Yeah. Imagine somebody going and getting, what is it that you need like to create? Isn't creating a, a glow spire into the sky hard? Because don't you need like no, an ender eye? I don't think I've actually done that. I think you did though. We've got clashing songs going on here. <laughs> Multiple <laughs> jukeboxes going. Well, you asked for music. The in-game music's not playing, is it? Yeah, the music's off. It's just people have multiple songs going. It would be pretty cool to um, like have a sign whenever you go into the nether. So it would be like, I've entered the nether. And then you go in and if you die, people then will leave you behind don't cross lots of notes. Your, yeah. You don't cross off your name. Oh, but that's But then funny. whenever you come yeah, back out, if that's... you've lived, you can take your name off. Check-ins. Yeah. You need to kill the wither boss for the spires. Huh. So there you go. Somebody, will, uh, no doubt, someone will take it upon themselves to really show off. Grinded hundreds of wither skeletons for that one in winter, says Immature Intellect. Wow. That's nuts. I didn't go into the Nether at all for. So I didn't uh, know that that it was that hard. No. Huh, I might actually make it a focus. No, not for this one. This one's all natural, so maybe the next build I'll make it a focus to go into the nether. I also never made a bed and slept in it for the Christmas build. I just... Well, Aren't I you hardcore? Died. Yep. God, this looks so good in the mornings. This is with the... Wow. Nether build month would also be... Freaking awesome. Oh, I'm so stupid. Hmm. Um, Don't be so hard on yourself. This is with the TME shader. It's really good. Hmm. Yeah, so you don't need the best of the best. Like, this is still really fucking good. It, but it still t probably takes quite a bit of power, this one. I do recommend, though, looking into shaders, because it doesn't take much to make Minecraft look better than vanilla. Uh, maybe I'll look into that. Here, look, I mean... <sighs> Jesus, fuck. Alright. Like, look at... I'll bring it back down to vanilla again. And you can see. Oh no, I'm scared. It's very different. Shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> like... I don't notice it whenever I'm focusing on like well, sure. mining or building. Sure. So. But like... Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. It's so pretty. Uh, has anyone started a community farm yet? I've got some coal, where can I leave it? Do we have community chests yet? Whoa. Uh oh, zombie. This tree came out of nowhere, who planted this? Also remember when it was easier to replant trees, like you could just give it one bone meal and it would regrow. What, you can't do that now? You have to do three and then it does like this sparkly thing around it. And then it takes a bit to grow, right guys? I didn't know that. I also think there's a village nearby. That's a pretty biome you found, Melly. There's well a done. chance bone meal will make a tree grow. Right, there's a chance. That's what this oh, sparkly okay. bit is. So this will be a more challenging um, build than it may have once been. Because it used to be, yeah, bone meal and just fucking grow a tree. Um, well, we don't want to grow... Well, we still want to grow trees, but we'll be making our big trees. <laughs> so, so you guys are going to... I just saw him kill a skeleton. You guys are going to want to go skeleton miner, hunting, miner? eh? 
for this build. I recognize Minor Minor. I didn't even have to see his name. Yeah, we need some skeletons. I could work on that. I'm cheating. Oh God. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be building. The hand of God should not touch this build. So any other questions? Yeah, vines act as ladders. I love that. And I think that that could come into play in this oh, build. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't have any other real thoughts, I don't think, in terms of um, ideas for the build. That's all I really wanted, was just to give that general... I tend to do that with these builds, is just give the feeling I want to get from it, and then let, let yeah. them go. Yeah. But I figured a build like this would be nice because it's another kind of cozy build. Mm -hmm. And it's still winter. It'll feel nice and cozy being among trees. Yeah. Um... Would it be stupid to just start the time for a certain mood for the whole build? Well, part of survival is night though, right? Like. Oh, I get what you're asking for. And we need skeletons. You need the skeletons, yeah. For the bone meal. Someone breed sheep, we need wool. Some people are still in their Christmas shit. <laughs> <laughs> Aw. Need to change Soda left the game. So many people are still in their Christmas stuff. Yeah. It's hilarious. People haven't played since that build. I haven't. I'm not one to talk, still Santa. I don't even know what my outfit is. I, I guess I could see myself if I went like this. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I look like right now. I uh I think that I'm still in like Summer stuff. Nitro is leaving to change now. Look at that crafting table. Wow, that's very pretty. Tiger, kill him. Aquas is excited. He was the original creator, I think, of the Giga Tree. Way, Sweet. way, way back. That's cool. I wanted to make sure we did a show today because it's Mining Monday. So it's appropriately it's timed. It's very appropriate, yeah. Because we definitely got to do some mining today. I think that the biggest challenge in this build to make look nice is going to be creating natural looking branches mm -hmm. if you want to create branches i mean technically you can just make a trunk and then just have leaves come out i mean even not like mine that's what minecraft does <laughs> there's no branches yeah but i could see like um trees with amazing like big branches coming off of them yeah, and stuff totally. like so looking up at a canopy that has like these huge Sprawling branches. Nova Star did a big tree build in World 2. Cool. I did one in, I guess, World 3, or like active world right now. I could see there being multiple people in this that are going to be just tree builders who get good at it or are yeah. good at it already and will like potentially put out their name there as somebody who can build a tree for you if you want to get started. Some people might just yeah. want to hollow out a tree. Yeah. Nova Star did the great Deku tree in Kikiri Forest build. Oh, that's cool. I'm sure somebody's already got the Deku tree in mind. Mm -hmm. The question is just how many Deku trees will there be in this build? Or um, what are they called in Game of Thrones? Like a werewood tree? But then you have to make the face somehow. Hmm. Yeah, the good thing is about large trees as well, is if you want to make them detailed, like the Deku tree, you can, like, you can actually add awesome details. Some heart trees. Will there be that forest from Super Mario RPG? Maybe if you make it. Uh, 5-2 found a flower forest as well. So we have 
lots of flour. Oh, for fuck's sake. I asked for one fucking jukebox. <laughs> oh. mm, you didn't specify, you just said music. Yeah, I did just say music. <laughs> and Thanks, away guys. I go. So... <laughs> wow, that music really has range, eh? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Joke's on you. We can fly away. Actually, I so much. He already took them all away. away. <laughs> oh, wait. What? What the? Where are they? I don't know. He's trying to follow me with them, I think. Anyways. <laughs> uh. So there you go, guys. Jump on in. Have some fun. If you're, like we said before, if you're Turbo, hasn't tri Turbo who hasn't tried Minecraft yet, jump in. There's, uh, especially if you haven't gotten to know people. How, does this just happen? I actually did just happen. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, <laughs> if you, uh, if you haven't gotten to know community members too, like if you haven't, if you feel like getting to know people, like this is a great way to socialize. Totally. In here. People are friendly. Whenever people jump in, we say hi. Um. We welcome all with open arms. Yeah, yeah. Oh. No, I just want to go play. Oh, there you go. Are you going to play? But... I'll go back to Witcher. And you can go play this. I was in the middle making costumes. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Anyways. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you. I can't wait to see what you build. I'll be in there. Good I luck, be. everybody. And we'll see you when you're done. In a couple weeks, three weeks, somewhere around there. See it. Get to work.